Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The third petition of the Lord's Prayer is another great reminder of who God is and what he does for us. The will of God will be done. After all, he is the king, he is the creator and sustainer of the universe. His kingdom rules and reigns over all things. He is the king, he is in charge. What he says goes. And that is great news for us, because as much as he is our king, he is also our father. And his will for us is the will of a father. And it is good. And so, in prayer, as we pray, thy will be done, sometimes this can be a very humbling prayer, but it ought to encourage us to know that God's will will most certainly be done. And that prayer is not a tool or an instrument that we are to use and to wield as though we are fighting against God in order to change his mind. God's mind, his will for you, does not need to be changed. The outcome does not need to be changed because God's outcome for you is sure. It is certain he wants and he wills the best for you. Sometimes it's difficult to see how that is and how that is working in this specific instance and circumstance, but we know God's will. We know our Father. We know his words and his promises and his identity. We know that God's will for you is to save you as his beloved dear child. And that he is willing to do anything that it takes. And in fact, he has done all that is necessary, even dying, to save you. To bring about your good, even if it costs him his life, he will do it. He has done it. God's will for you will be done. No matter the cost. No matter the outcome for him. Your father desires your good. You don't have to change his mind. You don't have to change what is going to happen to tomorrow because you can't. God can. And his will for you is as a father who loves his child that he would give his life and has done it. Don't worry about tomorrow. Trust in your father who loves you dearly. In the name of Jesus, amen.